Hi and welcome back to another TechMinds video. So in this video we're going to be taking a look at SSTV which stands for Slow Scan Television. Now the concept of SSTV was introduced by Copthorne MacDonald around 1957. Now back in those days it seemed sufficient to use 120 lines and about 120 pixels per line for sending a black and white SSTV transmission. So what is SSTV exactly? Well, we've heard of what a television is, which transmits moving images at a frame rate between 25 and 30 frames per second, or well, SSTV transmits one single frame. And the image transmission can be anything from around 8 seconds up to a couple of minutes, depending which mode is used. Normal TV uses around 6 MHz of bandwidth, while SSTV only uses 3 kHz. Now the first live tests of SSTV were actually performed on the 11 meter handband which was then later given to the CB service. An interesting fact is that SSTV was actually used to transmit images of the far side of the moon from Luna 3 which we all know to be the Soviet spacecraft. Now it wasn't until around 1968 when the FCC legalized the use of SSTV for advanced level amateur radio operators. So when you're scanning around the bands, what does SSTV actually sound like? Well, SSTV signal is made up of audio tones between 1200 and 2300 Hz. You'll be able to hear what it sounds like a bit later on in the video when we go ahead and decode some live SSTV. Now to receive and transmit SSTV originally required specialist equipment consisting of a scanner or camera and a modem to create and receive the audio tones which make up the SSTV image. The modems would then be connected to a transceiver. Nowadays SSTV can be transmitted and received just by hooking up your computer sound card to your transceiver and then using a piece of software. Now the most common software which is used is called MMSSTV which is a free download software package for Windows created by JE3HHT, that's his call sign, Makoto Mori. Now I find SSTV to be really interesting. I think it's a really great digital mode and primarily you'll be able to receive SSTV on the HF bands on specific parts of each band. You can go ahead and have a look at your HF hand bands to see where SSTV is placed in that spectrum for each band. Now as the propagation conditions haven't been really good over the past few months, it's taken me a while to actually capture some live SSTV decoding so that I can show you in a video. Now one of the other cool things that's worth noting is that the International Space Station has been transmitting SSTV images on 145.800 MHz over the past few months. This means that when the ISS passes over your shack, your location, wherever you've got your radio receiver, you should be able to receive and decode an SSTV image live from the International Space Station. So let's take a look at a couple of SST transmissions that I received over the past weekend and I decoded using the MM SSTV software on the 20 meter band. In these examples you're also going to be able to hear the audio which is being received so if you've got headphones on just be careful because it is kind of a bit of an audio howl. It's not the nicest thing to listen to but you'll see what I mean in a moment. Now as this SSTV image is coming through you can see some noise on the image that is where the signal level is actually dropping due to propagation. Now obviously if the signal was really really strong we'll get a really nice clear image but because of propagation the level of the signal was dropping quite low and you can tell that from the spectrum that you can see on the left of the image dropping down and you can also hear the audio level going lower as well.
Now you can clearly see this image is quite strong and loud and you can hear that and you can see the peak is a lot higher than the previous transmission, which means we're getting a clearer image. There is a little bit of noise on there which is reflected by the distortion on the image, but overall this is quite a successful image reception from F4CYH, which I believe is a French ham radio call sign. So there we go, there's some examples of receiving SSTV on the 20 meter handbands. Now the equipment I'm using is a SDR receiver from SDR Play and I'm using the RSP Duo. Now the antenna that I'm using is just a random length of wire, probably around 15 meters long, just strung up over the roof of my house. Now the software that I'm using is SDR Uno and MMSSTV software to decode the SSTV image. Now if you're interested on how MMSSTV captures the audio data from SDR Uno then just look at some of my other videos where I talk about pumping the audio out of SDR Uno into VB audio cable and then what we do is we select the VB audio cable as our default microphone in or audio in. MMSSTV will pick up on that so any audio that's received by SDR Uno MMSSTV will use it and try and decode if it's digital. Now you may also see on here we have RX mode the middle column there and you have a whole load of different modes you have Robot 36, 72, AVT 90, Scotty 1, 2, Scotty DX, Martin 1, Martin 2. Now I probably wouldn't really worry about those unless you specifically know which mode you're going to use. The button at the top for RX mode, just set it on auto. That's pretty much where you want to leave it. Also, you see a little bar to the right of the RX mode. That's your audio level input. So if that is maxing out all the time and you're not getting very good decoding, then just adjust the audio level output from SDR Uno or whichever SDR package that you're using. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's taken me a long time to be able to capture some footage and live images being decoded, but I hope it was worthwhile and I hope you enjoyed it. And if you try this out for yourself, please leave a link down in the comment section so I can take a look at the images that you've received as well. I'll be really interested to see what you've picked up. Until the next video guys, take care and we'll see you in the next one.